All of these electromagnetic fields are like poisons, okay? They're like mercury or lead poisoning. You can slowly poison yourself over a number of years by t t taking a little bit of lead or mercury. It's the same thing with these electromagnetic fields. It's a dose-response relationship. So the more we're being dosed earlier on in our life, it's more likely that we're going to have symptoms or become sick later on in our life. So that's why it's important to reduce your exposure from these electromagnetic fields, particularly when you're, you're young. So what happens when uh, you have a circuit with dirty electricity riding on it is it's going to produce a high frequency electric field. You can see when we're measuring the field coming off this lamp that as we get closer, the meter starts to dramatically rise. And you'll take note that the lamp isn't even actually turned on right now but yet it's putting this high frequency electric energy into the air. And we're capacitively coupled to this energy whenever we're around um, a, a dirty circuit. What this meter is measuring is the amount of dirty electricity riding on this circuit. You can see right now that we have a nice low reading of 29 GS units, so that's considered in the safe range. Now let's dirty it up. We're going to put on a compact fluorescent light bulb and you'll see the meter immediately jumps from 25 to uh, well over 500. To mitigate the dirty electricity we use a Gram Stetzer filter. The meter drops to a safe level of 27, 28 GS units. The meter reading drops immediately below 40 to a safe level and now this lamp is no longer producing those biologically active frequencies between 4 and 100 kilohertz. They've been completely taken off of the circuit. Some of the things in your home that are going to create dirty electricity are all your electronics. Computers, printers, monitors, all of those devices are electronic and therefore they're going to chop up the 120 volt power supply putting this high frequency dirty electricity back down the circuit. This is a typical electrical panel found in every household. You can see we put in a filter on the panel and we've got a nice slow reading of 60 to 70 and now I'll show you what happens when we take out the filter. We let this dirty electricity start to flow into our house from the neighboring houses. The reading immediately jumps to over 1500, a very high and very dangerous reading.